Hello guys, hello Philippines, hello world. I'm back to the third step or the third segment. Of course, this is the main menu, okay? Because this ingredient is full of protein, okay? Full of protein and also albumin, which is very, very important for the sustenance of your liver function, okay? Albumin is one of the protein, I remember in a bio bio biological uh, engineering or biochemistry, sorry, biochemical engineering, if you take uh, BS chemical engineering, it has been thought there, the different kinds of proteins, the enzymes, okay, the catalysts like that or whatsoever. But going back to eggs, eggs rich in protein, okay, if you eat these eggs, okay, it has a lot of choline, okay, choline for the liver function also, okay. So, World Health Organization or the CDC, okay, controls of disease centers, Okay, they are the controlling health agency all over the world. Okay, they uh, encourage eating eggs, I think, three times a day, minimum, like that. And then there was a myth, M-Y-T-H myth, meaning myth is a false principle. That is a myth. So there was a myth before that the yellow one, the portion of the egg, I cannot show you the egg now, I will get one egg. <laughs> Just to show you, but no need to show, it's very self-explanatory. Wait! Go, go, go! Hello, guys! I'm back now. So, I have four eggs. This would be enough to combine with the ampalaya and potatoes ingredients. But before that, I must talk to the health features, good fe health features of the egg. Okay, there is white, okay, inside, if you remove the shell, okay, right? And there's an egg yolk. The egg yolk, we said before, high in cholesterol. But it was contested by public uh, Harvard School University. Egg yolk rich in lutein, okay? You know lutein and zeaxanthin for good eyesight, okay? Good eyesight to avoid cataract or any eye diseases or any eye disorder. So it was contested. So the myth before, the false statements regarding high cholesterol of the egg yolk, it depends on the situation under normal circumstances. Maybe it would be uh, not good to people that are having a high blood pressure or noted to have uh, having uh, what we call that one, uh, diabetic, okay? Diabetes mellitus, okay? Type 2 diabetes, okay? The lack of, you know, the lack of, what do you call this one, uh, sugar, the, so, no, not lack, but over, over sugar in the body. The blood glucose sugar in the body is very high. So hyperglycemia, right? I am talking right? Because the lower is the hypoglycemia and the hyperglycemia. So diff, uh, that is the diabetes mellitus or type 2 diabetes. So if you have that uh, karamdaman, <laughs> ganun talaga. So you, you should not eat more eggs because it has high cholesterol level. Okay, but as you can remember before, as I always stressed that out previously, previously ba, because I'm not doing vlogs before. Oh no, I'm posting that in my previous FB accounts, Twitter accounts, in my uh, Instagram, I always stated that, and I reiterated that again and again and again, okay, that these eggs are very, 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 very healthful. Okay, imagine, no need to eat rice if you eat eggs because it makes you full, okay? Because there's protein on it, okay? Like that. The, the level of protein is very high. So talking about cholesterol, <laughs> bakit na para ako nagle-lecture? <laughs> Ganon, may something lecture talaga. Okay, so cholesterol has two types of cholesterol. It doesn't mean if you have, if you have, a, if you have high cholesterol, that means you have high level of low density lipoprotein, okay? Then if you have a high 
high level of high density lipoprotein HDPL high density lipoprotein then it is okay but if you have a very very high low density lipoprotein so that would be not good for your body because that what we mean generally by high cholesterol so meaning to say low density lipoprotein is the bad cholesterol high density lipoprotein is the good cholesterol so it is better to acquire in our diet a high level of high density lipoprotein which is one type of cholesterol also okay like that so to those who are not familiar with the technicalities okay again there are two types of cholesterol the low density lipoprotein and the high density lipoprotein now a person should have a high level of high density lipoprotein compared to the low density lipoprotein because this dense, low density lipoprotein is the bad cholesterol so that what they are referring to the cholesterol of the egg yolk but it was contested during the lab, laboratory testing in public school of Harvard University okay so you may now wondering why I, I, I got that I got that only by reading okay reading reading and the uh, net Okay, so the world is social media nowadays and you can read a lot of information, but be sure to check the sources also. Okay, sources are very important also. How credible, how reliable, and how trusted the information that you are taking in the social media or in the internet world. Okay, go back to this. Okay, now I will be able to crack the shell and get the eggs inside. X inside. Gun by gun. Okay. Sorry for that. Oh my gosh, I have to get the fork. Pakanta pa ba ako? Wag na lang. Kasi yung mga eksina ito mataas. Ano, ano pa mag gusto ninyo? May lecturing din, gano'n. May kantahan, may cooking, may exercise a little bit. So, andito na sa vlogging ni Eternal Voice. I am a singer. Eternal Voice. Okay, so tell. Please subscribe, share, and like this vlogging of mine, okay? Vlogging talaga. Okay, like that. I will get the fork. And then I get another bowl also, okay? Hello, guys! Hello Philippines, hello world. I think it's about time to end up this, uh, you know, second step because it take too long na talaga siya, 43 minutes. Babush! And I will be now going to my third step na, okay? Hello, babush! Goodbye! Babush, babush, babush. God bless! Of